Hi folks, I've just come back from a 2,000 kilometre little drive and uh, the other week I learnt about the uh, timing chains on these cars. Apparently after 100,000 miles the timing chain stretches and you should change it. Now this car has done 285,000 kilometres that's up until the trip meter stopped working <laughs> and Christ knows how long uh, ago that the trip meter stopped working. So today I'm going to check the timing chain on this car, the 450 SLC of course. Here we go. Okay, the first thing is to remove the air filter and then we're going to disconnect the uh, spark plug leads. Uh, just remember what order the spark plug leads are running in and then we're going to get a 10 mil socket and undo the four bolts around the rocket cover this is on the right side of the engine here we go I should uh, add uh, before we <laughs> uh, to get at the spark plugs here we have to undo the water bottle so we just undo those three bolts around it and lift it out so we can get at the spark plugs to uh, connect them and that later. Okay, I've taken the uh, rocket cover off. While it's off, first thing, check your plastic oil drip feeder thingos here, along here. Just give them a wiggle, make sure nothing's uh, cracked or broken because what happens, these things get uh, heated and brittle and they just snap off and then you don't get oil to your camshaft. <coughs> right, now I've put a 22mm socket on the bolt of the power steering pump and I'm going to crank the camshaft around until it comes to top dead centre. And uh, there will be a mark around here, then I don't know if you can see it. Um, put a bit of light on the subject. There's a mark here where my finger is. Whoops. I'll zoom in a bit. There's a mark there, and uh, should be come around on this uh, camshaft and line up with that, and that will be top dead center. Before I get too carried away you turn the engine to the right that way uh, that's the way the engine runs okay see that slot there it lines up with a line here that's top dead center now we're, what we're going to do is look down onto the uh, crankshaft down yonder I'll just organize this so you can see what I'm going to talk about right that is our crankshaft down the bottom and see the chrome pointer just there on the left well that should be on where the white mark is on the right there now you can see I'll zoom in a bit where that bit of white paint is is top dead center and we're about just 10 degrees over this means that my timing chain is stretched and so it's going to have to be replaced. Another thing we check for where whoops, is the uh, guides. There's the tensioner just there down here and you can see a guide up the top here. Well mine don't look particularly worn. Another thing here we can see, see, we've got a bit of slack on the timing chain just sort of to prove everything. If that got really bad it would start hitting down here and the worst thing that happened is it would jump a, a tooth and bugger the whole engine up. So there we go. But the, the deal I have, with, uh, which is a very good deal up the road, they're going to change the timing chain and the uh, guides and the tensioner um, for a pretty good, darn good price not much more than the parts 
so I'm not going to do this job myself, I'll take it to them. So there you go, that's how you test if your timing chain is stretched.